Hey everybody, my name is Jeannie and welcome back to my channel, The Food Genie. Today we're gonna have breakfast for dinner and in order to do that, you need to have pancakes. So I don't like taking care of pancakes in the pan, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Plus the first pan never turns out, so I'm gonna make sheet pan pancakes. So, sheet pan pancakes. They go in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes at 425. So the first thing you need to do is preheat your oven to 425. The ingredients you're gonna need today are flour, sugar, baking powder, salt, milk, egg, melted butter, and vanilla. Pretty easy. Pretty standard pancake recipe. And I like to make it in a four cup or larger measuring cup. Simply because, easy to pour. Okay, so to start, we need one and a quarter cups of milk. And you need one egg. And a quarter cup of melted butter. Okay. And then I don't have like traditional North American vanilla. I have what my mom taught me to use when I was growing up and it's like the German equivalent equivalent sorry and it is a baking aroma so it's a really concentrated um, butter vanilla so I only need like maybe four or five drops to get the same kind of effectiveness as a teaspoon of vanilla would reach you and then I have a small bowl my pretty bowl with one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Then I've got hmm, one tablespoon of baking powder, two tablespoons of sugar, and then just um, a half teaspoon of salt. Take a whisk and whisk to combine. Okay, bring back the measuring cup and just carefully add a little bit of it, probably half, and stir a little bit to combine. And you can hear the uh, baking powder reacting with the milk right away. That's that bubbling. It's baking powder. So say you didn't have baking powder. Baking powder is literally just baking soda that is mixed with cream of tartar. So in that scenario, you don't have it. You can use baking soda, but you need to have the amount. That's it. And you can still do it then, even if you don't have baking powder. Just cream of tartar just adds like um, another layer to the moisture factor. It like helps retain moisture. I don't know why. It's just what it does. All right, so it's gonna look pretty lumpy bumpy. So just stir it a little bit to combine. All right, so over here, I've got a parchment lined baking sheet and it's warm on the oven. And you're just gonna take your pancake batter and you're gonna spread it onto the parchment paper. I'm not gonna lie, this is a little bit smaller batch of pancakes because we're two people, so you could easily just double it up and it'd probably be enough for, for four. Honestly, this is more just to teach you the technique of baking the pancakes um, in the oven rather than using a uh, frying pan. 
So realistically, as far as I know, it'll work with any pancake mix, like any pancake batter. Pretty sure that um, there's definitely like recipes for sheet pan pancakes that are made with Bisquicks. So whatever you're most comfortable with. Okay, so I'm gonna stick these on the oven and I will see you when they're done baking. They take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna check them like you check a cake. At the 15 minute mark, you're gonna check the center with a toothpick. If it comes out clean, they're ready. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, it's time to take them out of the oven. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. So, that's what they look like. It got a little bit of browning on the top. Not too much. Like I said before, or I think I said before, they don't get too brown on top. Um, you could put some melted butter on halfway through the cooking time and it would brown up a little bit on the top, but honestly, I don't think it needs it. to super uh, early right now for the dinner. Don't judge me. I don't like maple syrup. Yeah. What kind of Canadian am I? But I like the fake stuff. Sorry. Syrup. Normally I'm going to have butter on there, but... will be just fine without it for now. This recipe is a short out, shout out to my friend Courtney who asked how I make sheet pan pancakes. Super easy. Like I said. Mm -hmm. It's a pancake. It's a little thinner than I normally make them, but uh, turned out it's a sheet pan pancake. So let me know if you make it. The recipe is super easy, super straightforward, and I look forward to having you back here at the Food Genie next time. Bye.